Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another G-Shock video. Today is April 28 and G-Shock has announced all the watches for the May 2021. So let's have a look at what, what are we getting. Starting with the G-Squad Pro series, we have seen this for a few months now. Uh, it's finally being released for May. There are three variants starting with the GSWH1000. Dash one. This has got the black and blue color accent as part of design. The GSWH1000. This is the all black version. And the GSWH1000-1A4. My favorite color, red. So it has got red straps along with accents for the buttons and the bezel. Uh, red color as well. I've got one order today and uh, it's currently, they're having a pre-order in Japan. Uh, it is expected to release on May 15th. So do subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see the review of this watch. In terms of price, we are looking at 88,000 Japanese yen. That is roughly 800 US dollars. Here's how the packaging is expected to look like. Pretty similar to the GBD H1000 series watch. And here are some of the design elements. Uh, the case back is made of titanium. It has got a single heart rate sensor just like the GBDH and the watch is made in Japan. For the overall design elements, you are looking at the honeycomb structure that covers the entire watch along with additional accent colors for the buttons on this watch. Alright, let's move on to the next one. There are six, six watches as part of the Hidden Coast series. We are starting with the GA900 series watches, the GA900HC-3 and the GA900HC-5. So this watch has got army green bezel along with orange accent colors as part of the watch face design. And for the other one, it's got gray bezels along with yellow accent colors for the buttons and the watch face. I think both of these look really cool. Price wise, 16,500 Japanese yen. Roughly 150 US dollars. Moving on, the next is the GA2000 series watches. Both of these watches has got translucent straps and bezel. The only thing that is different is the color elements. For the GA2000 HC-3, it has got orange bezel with green straps. For the HC-7, white straps with transparent uh, bezel. It has also got blue color accent colors for the hard case and the buttons on this watch. Both of these watches go for 17,600 Japanese yen. That's roughly 160 US dollars. Moving on, probably this is going to be the most popular in this Hidden Coast series, the GA2100 series watches. HC-2, blue translucent straps along with transparent bezel. And the HC-4 has got orange translucent straps with semi-transparent green bezel. I think both of these look really cool. I would have preferred to have a positive display, but sadly both of these has got negative display. Nevertheless, I think both will look really cool. 15,950 Japanese yen, that is roughly 145 US dollars. Moving on to GST B400, this watch was also announced a few months back, four variants, all new watch. It's This watch is slightly smaller and thinner compared with the outgoing model. There are four variants. The first one is the GST B400-1. This one has got the standard resin straps along with stainless steel bezel. This is this happens to be the cheapest among the four, 450 US dollars. Next, we have the GST B400 AD. This has got stainless steel band along with stainless steel uh, bezel. The watch face has got red metallic color and they use a technique called vapor deposition. Price wise, 59,400 Japanese yen. That is roughly 540 US dollars. The most expensive model of all the four here, GST B400 BD. This has similar stainless steel band and bezel. The only difference, it has got black IP coating. Price wise, 68,200 Japanese yen. That's roughly 620 US dollars. 
And the last one for the plain vanilla look, stainless steel colors. Both the straps, I mean the band and the bezel, stainless steel bands. 55,000 Japanese yen, 500, and U 500 US dollars. Moving on to the next watch, there are we have two watches as part, as part of the Frogman analog series, the GWFA. Two watches, GWFA 1000C. Dash 1A, this watch has got stainless steel, uh, standard stainless steel bezel and it has got carbon uh, composite material as part of the band. Compared with the GWFA 1000XC, this has got laminated carbon fiber bezel and the inserts among the links over here has got carbon fiber as well. Here is how they look like. You can see the uh, laminated carbon fiber for the bezel along with the really cool looking link as part of the band design. For the 1000C, it has got standard resin inserts as part of the band. In terms of price, you are going to pay top dollar 132,000 for the 1000C model, 1,200 Japanese yen. And for the carbon fiber model we are looking at 170,000 Japanese yen that's roughly 1,500 US dollars. G-Shock also mentioned on their website that the clasp on this watch has got a special extension mechanism especially if you're wearing a suit going for a dive you can use that feature to fit the watch over your suit. All right let's move on to the next watch in the list or oh, this is one of the things that I really really like mtgb 2000 blue phoenix i've already got one on pre-order as well this is the mtgb 2000 with rainbow colored uh, rainbow ip coating that has been applied for the bezel on this watch this watch comes with standard uh, resin strap the model code mtgb 2000 ph-2 a 143,000 Japanese yen at 1,300 US dollars. This is going to be my very first MTGB 2000. I'm really excited for this one. Here is how the packaging is going to look like. Pretty similar with most other MTG watches that we have been getting. All right, let's move on to the next watch in the list. Next, we have got the Dragon series and this is a China exclusive model. There are three watches that has been announced for May release. The GA900-DBR. This has got green colors along with red and yellow accent colors for the overall design. And my personal favorite, GA700-DBR. This has got red straps with blue accent colors in fact i think the index and the analog hands on this watch both has got red metallic treatment and finally the ga 110 dbr this has got the white straps along with mainly red accent colors for the watch face design in terms of price we are looking at 210 us dollars for all three watches and what is so special about this watch? Well, here is how the case looks like for this watch. I think this case looks absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely getting the GA700 uh, watch from this Dragon series. Let's see how it looks like in terms of the quality for the case. And probably I'm going to get the other two as well. Casio China is taking pre-orders right now for all of these three watches. I've already mentioned the link on where to purchase this in my Instagram page. So do check it out. Okay, let's move on. We have come to the end uh, of the video almost uh, on the new watches that were released. Now let's look at four watches that has been marked uh, as end of production. Two watches from the Fire Package series, the GW. 2310 FB and the AWG M100 SF. Both of these has been marked as end of production. The DW5600 SKE, the GA2100 has already been marked as end of production. Now even the 5600 along, along with the MTG B2000 Sun Quan's 
limited edition model. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And if you enjoyed the content that I'm putting out, do hit the like button as well. Till next time, stay safe and I'll see ya.